Hi, 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 hi. Hello, how's everybody doing tonight? It's night time. I didn't get a chance to record today because it was Canadian Thanksgiving. I didn't know it was until 11 a.m. I woke, I woke up with a turkey in the sink and I was like, oh my. I'm thinking it's tomorrow, you know? And the lady tells me, hey, when do you want to start cooking? And I'm like, oh, that's today, motherfucker. So I was like, okay, well, luckily I could throw it down. So I was like, we got this. I didn't know it was today, but I had nothing planned. <laughs> so I'm, I'm available. I can do it. So I was busy doing that. I took a nap and stuff while I cooked. I ended up cooking the turkey in a bag. I've never, I've never cooked a turkey in a bag before. I've heard of it. I've seen it like on TV. Maybe, maybe seems familiar, but I've never done it. I was just didn't have no, no pot, to, no, a roast pan. I didn't have a roast pan. The, the supplies are limited, you know. So like, I was like, well, I got this big baking pan, but no lid, and I was like, it's gonna make a huge mess. It's gonna be disgusting. Well, it's gonna be terrible. But then, as I'm digging for random spices shuffling through the shelves, grabbing anything that looks good because they don't really have everything here. And uh, I run into this turkey bag, a turkey roasting bag. And I was like, yeah, oh my God, where did you come from? It looked like it came from the 80s. It was in this package. It says it's from 2011 though. So it's not from the 80s. It just looks like it was. But either way, it was this giant bag that's made to go in the oven, and it did the damn thing, and I nailed it. I even made homemade stuffing. I didn't know I knew how to make homemade stuffing. I just I wanted stuffing, and there was a big loaf of multigrain bread, and I was like, that sounds stuffing me. So I just went with it, and it worked. And it was delicious, and everybody loved it. Ow. So I'm super grateful for that loaf of multi-grain bread today that's for sure so but this isn't about thanksgiving this is about halloween halloween so i have candy in my house as a supply because i really like candy i don't eat very much of it though i just like to have it for when i want it and want to eat it so i keep it on deck but it's Halloween time, so I stocked up and I got new things. So I got Twix, Tootsie Rolls, Jolly Rancher, Lollipop, and Bubblegum. So this will be pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. But I forgot to tell you what we're doing because I'm tired, but not sleepy, just tired. But anyways, what would I say? Yes, the question is, what should you go as for Halloween? Yay, I think that's fun. That's meant to be just quick and fun because I'm tired. And I felt like doing the reading because I'm not sleepy. It's, it's confusing. So, what should you be for Halloween? This is option one, the Twix. I'm also going to be eating them after we finish each reading because I'm hungry a little. And we got option two, is the Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. Option three is Jolly Rancher Lollipop Watermelon Flavor. Oh, delicious. The best. And then the last is the one that I absolutely hate because it, like, rips my mouth when I try to chew it. It's double bubble. Ooh, okay. America's Original. It's terrible. So, those are your options. I'm not doing a... Sh should I? Hmm. No, I'm not doing that. It's not serious enough for that. We're just going to go with it. So we're starting with pile one. The Twix. Hmm, I cannot wait to eat the Twix. Yes, I strategically placed the pile so that I can eat the lollipop and not probably eat the bubblegum. <laughs> okay, so. First, we're going to go with some animal spirits because, you know, who doesn't dress up like an animal from time to time? I got a bunch of different decks so that we could, yes, and I'm cherry picking, but as I go. So, a bat. So, maybe Batman. Batman. I'm Batman. Okay. A zebra. 
that's fun too. <laughs> or a horse. Horse, of course. Some type of horse. <laughs> Maybe a unicorn. Let's see. Oh god, I'm gonna have to look in the why did I do this to myself? I'm gonna have to look in the book I say to myself. Where's the book? Number four, the house. But what story is this? Because you're not going as a house. I got this because it's fairy tales. Because people go as fairy tale characters. House. Oh, so some of you just want to stay home and just hand out candy. Maybe read a book. You don't even participate. Why did you pick this then? Well, either way, here's your portion. Stay home and read a book. But hand out some candy. Oh, well... I don't think they're going to be handing out candy this year. So, yeah. And you're like, I'm just going to stay home and read a book. You feel like Rapunzel. Lock, in your, lock away in your tower. Okay. And then we got... Let's see. Nature continues to renew itself year after year. Something tells me like a leaf, like you actually want to go as a leaf. Look into the space between the trees for answers. So yeah, maybe you want to go as a tree. That's pretty funky. Thinking creative there. This one, I don't know how this is going to work. I didn't know how that was going to work either. So I just didn't even think about it. Let's see. Okay, so an enemy villain, a villain character. Something tells me like Maleficent, Ooh, or even like, you know, like a, an enemy type person of a movie or character. Any, any, and any nemesis type character. Okay, maybe a cat burglar too, and also maybe just someone who dresses like that. Like you know how I, there's so many costumes when you go like to Party City. It's like elegant woman with a dress, you know, like something like that. Like you might just wear something very bougie. <laughs> You might be in your PJs. You might just be one of those. I did that one year when I was a kid. I was one of my PJs. I was like, yeah, I'm going as a sleepover. <laughs> it didn't really fly. Everyone knew I was being lazy. But I mean, who were they to say if I was telling the truth? Little luxuries. <laughs> so maybe I might like, get a pimp. I, yeah, yeah, I knew some people that wanted pimps when I was young. The purple suits, you know? I, yeah, bad habit. <laughs> so someone from Breaking Bad, maybe? I even something with Game of Thrones. I'm thinking of the one, who is the one that's in the wheelchair? Is it a wheelchair? Or is it like a magical wheelchair? I don't even know if they have wheelchairs in that movie. I feel so dumb right now, I'm sorry. Okay, a hobo. Someone wants to go as a hobo. <laughs> Something with the Wizard of Oz, maybe. The Wicked Witch. <laughs> or Vanna White. Goodness. I'll be like, I mean, I'll be surprised if this is even... I even post this. I don't see how this is pertaining to anything. So with Beauty and the Beast, maybe Belle or the Beast. I just gotta go with whatever Crunk, Crunk from oh yeah yeah Crunk from the Emperor, not the Emperor, the Emperor's New Groove. Not that way. Is it the Emperor's New Groove? It is the Emperor's New Groove. Crunk. No, that's not what it says, but that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and also uh, Brave, uh, Merida, yes, Merida, we got Merida in the house, and <laughs> Lady Gaga, also an egg, maybe a baby. A star, too, maybe you're going as just, a, like I said, a movie star, this type of celebrity. I will just pop out for fun with these. I don't even know what that's saying. Well, that's gonna require, that's gonna require thought. Well, I don't even that's that 
I don't know. I'm drawing a blank here. A camel, maybe? I mean, that's literally the first thing that popped in my head was a camel because of deserts. And also, I saw something earlier where there was like a five hump camel. I was like, what? So, yeah, camel's on the mind. But, yeah, so, I don't know. Right with your hand. I don't know. The stone. So, maybe you're going as a rock. But this also has a lot of imagery that'll help maybe help you figure out what that card means for you because I don't know. And also Storm from uh, X-Men. Okay, so that's all I got for this pile. <laughs> musician too. Maybe you're going to go as a musician, a DJ. That's what it is. This is what this is made me think of Loud Luxury. And I'm like, how does Loud Luxury got to do with this? A DJ. There we go. There we go. Okay, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed pile one, the Twix. Mm, I'm going to eat that after I finish this. I cannot wait till I get to the lollipop because my mouth's dry. Okay, I'm going to give a quick little shuffle. You know, like it's shuffled. That's fine. I think they're okay. I don't know. I don't know. She tricks, I'm coming for you, baby. The song Sierra, think about you. Oof, that's me in this Twix right now. Mm -hmm. yeah, this Twix are about to get real personal. Stamp. Oh, I brought a pen. I'm so proud right now. You have no idea. This is my proud face. And I even got paper. <gasps> now you see my happy face. Oh, wait. I don't think I'm on camera, so never mind. You don't get to see the happy face. Unless maybe you did. I won't know until later. Oh, fuck. Can I please have the paper? Please. Okay. This thing has a sprinkler in it. This room? Oh my god. It's a smoking room. Why is there a sprinkler in here? Oh my god. I just got the goosebumps. The thought of that thing going off on me. I ate so many Tootsie Rolls before coming to do this video. Okay. They were just so good. I love Tootsie Rolls. I could probably eat a billion Tootsie Rolls in one sitting. They're dangerous for me. I have to, I have to keep those things away from me. So, yeah, pile two. Boom, boom, 1430. Okay. Pile two. The Tootsie Roll. Now let's see, what should you go for as Halloween? This also could obviously be things that you've gone for in the past or just things you've been thinking of going for. It's just a kind of, I don't know, have fun. It's not serious. It's also not gonna be slow, it's not slow. It's not gonna be long, it's gonna be 
I'm going to try to be fast. Oh, I want to start with animals because it's the cutest. Swan, so maybe a ballerina, a swan, maybe Zeus, a tiger. Makes me think of Aladdin, Princess Jasmine too, or just an actual tiger. Ooh, Shere Khan. Yeah, I got my movie eyes, my little cartoon eyes on right now. Mm, a public speaker and a cat. Catwoman, even Garfield <laughs> with the tiger. That's cute. A dragonfly, an Indian princess thing, like a Native American, you know, the one with the feathers. The DJ, another DJ. What do we got? Um, like a musician, you know. Not actually, maybe someone with someone with turntables, you know. Maybe you put make like a cardboard box with turntables. I actually know someone that did that. Ouch! My butt is hurting. Okay, Daffy Duck, <laughs> Princess Tiger, Lily. So yeah, definitely some some Native American stuff. Peter Pan, maybe Captain Hook. I almost dropped that on my head. I'm so good. Let's see. Doesn't really tell me nothing. A baseball player. Baseball player. That's all I'm getting from that. I don't know either with this. You have to give it a second. I didn't get anything off of that other than a runaway. I don't know if someone's going as a runaway. So. Oh, maybe someone's going as someone from like the, the Underground Railroad. Something like that. But, you know, Black History Month type thing. Literally the only thing I'm getting. <laughs> So what do we got here? Night owl, or just an owl in general. That's cute. <laughs> You're going out for sure. That, that, I don't even know what an empty room is. Huh? What would the empty room be? A ghost. <laughs> a ghost. You're gonna go as a ghost. Ooh. Like the one with the bed sheets, literally. And then maybe, oh my gosh, maybe a leprechaun. Someone's going as a baby, like a New Year's baby. Like you're a grown up in a baby, in a diaper. A teacher, <laughs> but not the teacher, teacher is so hot for teacher. Like a sexy teacher, oh my goodness, look at y'all. Oh, a dancer, <laughs> some of y'all going as a stripper or just a pole dancer or just a, a, any type of dancer really, but those were the first ones that came to mind. So I guess style's got a little more Trying to, you know, a little more going on. They're trying to really get in there. So this would be Thumbelina. So maybe you're going as Thumbelina, a mole, or a bird. Like I said, like a, a blue jay. Like a blue jay, or like I said, a baseball player. From someone from the Blue Jays, someone from the Cardinals. I think that's a baseball team. Oh, someone even maybe from the Red Sox. Because that's Indian stuff, Native American thing, thing. So yeah, baseball players. Definitely up in there. Okay, so that's all I got. I enjoyed it. I thought that was fun. Uh, I mean, some of y'all are really trying to be sexy out there. I like it. That's nice. Got to make yourself feel pretty. So I hope you enjoyed. Now I get to eat your tootsie roll. That sounds terrible. I don't like that. Now I'm going to eat a tootsie roll. Sounds better. I guess I have to take care of the deck. So, I hope you enjoyed. Bye, 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 bye. To zero. To do to zero.
<sighs> oh, just remember, there's a tootsie roll at the end of this. You get to have a little prize. Tootsie roll. I need to fix a I refuse to rush it though, it's just too tasty. Oh my god, now it's a lollipop. Ooh, I'm excited. Lollipop. And it's pink, you know, pink is pink of love. Yeah. Okay, so pile number three. The Jolly Rancher. Let's see. Yeah, I'll figure it out. So, what should you go for as Halloween? Hmm. I have a feeling someone's going as Drake because for some reason my radio just started singing and it's got Drake on it and I'm like, radio don't work. Well, I mean, it works, but it does what it wants. So maybe when you are going as Drake. I'm going as husband or wife, you know, you're going as a wife, a bride. There you go, bride or a groom. Okay. Woodsman. Like a lumberjack. <laughs> yeah, a lumberjack. For sure. There's definitely a lumberjack. This um, slow and steady. What would that be? Tequila sunrise. Is this, is, this, is that even a costume? Maybe that's what you'll be drinking, but that's what I'm seeing. A rich person? No. Someone, a banker. There you go. Gnosis, uh, 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 oh God, what is that? A professor. Like Professor Xavier, too, that popped in my head. Yeah, definitely a banker. That's funny. A banker, a lumberjack. And a, a groom or a bride. Harry Potter, even. Hmm. That's cute. And also King Arthur from The Sword in the Stone. A witch. The end of the all, obviously. The witch of the witches. Someone's going as a witch. <laughs> or a black cat. And a unicorn. We got the unicorn or zebra or horse. Yeah. Pooh bear. Oh, someone's going with Pooh bear. That is so cute. Or a regular bear, too, like a grizzly bear, because we do got the forest and the lumberjack. So it might be a real bear. A sunflower. Also makes me think of a DJ because that song would be kind. So maybe someone's also going as the marshmallow, the, the Michelin man. Marshmallow too, a marshmallow puff. And also maybe just an anime girl. A lock and key. Some type of key, a key. I saw a key earlier too. And now I see key again. So an actual key. Someone's going as a key.
uh, some type of karate, you know, fighting, you know, where they wear the costume for it, like a karate outfit with the colored belts, whatever, a kickboxer. Ooh, also Rocky. I think of Rocky, too. Yeah, Philosopher's Stone, so Merlin, maybe some more, like I said, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's fun. Also, someone could be going as a, as a gypsy. This lady's doing runes, tarot, everything. So, okay. Oh, I got more Pooh Bear and Bears. Brother Bear type stuff, like a real bear. And twin girls. Hmm. Like just twins. Young girls, though. Ouch. A turkey? <laughs> a roadrunner? Uh, a couple different birds, yeah. So I'm going to look up what those are. Bear and bird. Let's see if there's any story pertaining to them. Because these are fairy tale stories. And fairy tale stories. You know, have characters. Okay. Hmm. Some about bears and dwarves and Snow White's mom. So maybe someone with Snow White. She's got a little rose in her hand. Well, this is really telling me anything about anything like that. Some angel, maybe someone so might be going as like a holy light figure, you know, something. Ones with a little paper halos. Then birds, communities and such, and chitty chat chats. How the king of the birds was chosen. Mayan story. Someone, someone might be going obviously as a king. And obviously different birds like I already named. Okay. So yeah, a king and also maybe Snow White. That's what we were able to pull from that. But yeah, like a college professor, we have that too. That's what I already said. An alchemist. You know, like a... I guess Merlin did alchemy, yeah, it's like, like, like something like that. Mm -hmm. That's kind of fun. Also, maybe a character from World of Warcraft. Don't ask me why. Because something with that philosophy skill. Okay, so, I hope everybody liked it. I get to eat this now. Ooh, 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 and I got one pile up. Not bad. Oh gosh, it's kind of sour at first. Why? Mm. It's just too much back and forth to eat it.
Okay. This isn't working with the lollipop, but I'm still going to do it. 31 minutes. Okay. Okay. Option four. The double bubble. I already think of a... Uh, I think it's Duke Nukem. He said he's going to kick ass and shoot bubble gum. Rapper, emo, you know, where they put the hair and they're like, whatever. An edgy teen, I guess. That's what I think that's what be called. This life is not working. I'm putting it on top of my water bottle. Okay. I love a witch again. Uh, you know. A fortune teller, too. Yes, fortune teller. Mm hmm. Like a wizard. Sorry, my jaw. And also a cat. A black cat. Sorry, a black cat. No. A priest? Pastor? Oh my god, yes. A priest or a pastor. Also someone that plays an instrument. I guess maybe an angel with a harp. Why did I pull another card? Jesus? Someone's going as Jesus. It's interesting. And a baby. Baby Jesus. Someone's <laughs> going as baby Jesus. A lion. Someone's going to a party. They're look y'all are someone's looking for a party big time. That was just a message because I didn't dig for it. But yeah. Okay. Enough. Breaking bad again. I don't know the characters from Breaking Bad, but something tells me this is the old, the, the one that wants to be the, the, the one that's sick with the cancer, the, the old guy, the one that does the alchemy. Okay, so maybe you're going as an alchemist too. I think we speak of Merlin. Last pal had a little bit of that. I was a successful businessman, like, you know, when you wear a suit and you walk around with a freaking suitcase. Oh, it may, like, makes me think of what's his name, not Superman, but his alter ego. Um, Lois and Lane, Lois Lane, Clark Kent. <laughs> yeah, someone's going as Clark Kent. Maybe successful man, Clark Kent. I don't know. It makes me think of Vin Diesel. Ancestral stuff. A dragonfly. Also, maybe a bee, like any other, any type of insect for some reason, like a bug, any type of bee, wasp, hornet, whatever, anything that flies around with some wings, but also something with feathers, feathery stuff, like uh, Native American things, like maybe feather earrings, feather boas, things like that, you know, long hair, hippie, maybe like a hippie, there you go, scorpion, huh? I think he played in a movie, in the Scorpion. That's why it's making me think of an evil. Okay, a storybook character. Puss in Boots. That's so cute. Jack and the Beanstalk, too. Also, just a peasant wife. A peasant. Peasant, you know, person from back in those times. Like, you know, where you wear, like, the, the old maid's outfit. Maybe an old maid. A doctor. <laughs> a 
a muscle builder. Ouch. So yeah, maybe Vin Diesel. <laughs> I think he does muscle. Yes, he is muscular. Very muscular. Yes. Okay. Security guard. He's going as a bouncer. <laughs> club, a bouncer at the club. That's funny. A stop sign. Or a street sign in general. Also a lights, lights. The lights like red, yellow, and green. The actual stop lights. What's that stop light? Oh my god, too many. My fingers are dry. I'm doing it. I'm going in again. From a different angle. Ooh. What's her name? Jem. Jemmy. Je they made a movie about her. The Jets. Jemmy and the Jets. Whatever. They're going as that. Oh, what's her name? It's from the 80s. It's a cartoon. An Olympian, too. Someone's going as an Olympian. Or maybe just a, uh, an athlete that, that competes for gold medals and things. I think all athletes do that. That's why I say Olympian, because it's kind of like where they pool up to do it. Also, a Reaper. The Reaper. And I think that is it. Princess Tiger Lily, Peter Pan. Oh, a crocodile. And also uh, Captain Hook, or just a pirate in general. Shmee, Shmee. Someone might be going to Shmee. I like Shmee. How do you smell? How do you, how do you smell? How do you spell Shmee? I don't know. But Jemmy, Jemmy in the, ah, what is her name? Oh. Gosh, I even watched the remake of it. I just don't remember it. But I think it was called Jemmy. Jem. Whatever. You know who it is. If you're going as it, you know exactly who it is. Also, maybe something with gay pride, because that's hella rainbowish. A lot of rainbows. Oh, I said something with feather boas and stuff, right? Maybe someone's going as RuPaul, you know, or just a drag. Someone's going in drag, drag queen. That's cute. Mm -hmm. Also, schoolgirl. I see a little schoolgirl, just a few of you. Very few. <laughs> Probably only one. Okay, well, that's all I got. Also, a Peruvian princess. You know, you know how when you go like to the. Come on, what's it called? Party? Superstore? Mm, party supermarket? I don't remember. When you go there and they have all the costumes, you know, they label them so specific. You know, it's like when you buy a knockoff tissue, it's like it's not Kleenex anymore. It's nose tissue, you know. So, or nose fabric, nose fabric, you know what I mean. It's just called a Peruvian princess. And it's like just some Spanish Native American looking person, basically. Okay. Well, that's all I got. I'm not going to be eating this one. Maybe after after I eat that lollipop. But that's all I got for you. Hope you enjoyed it. It was fun for me. I had a lot of fun. Bye. Oh, and happy Thanksgiving. And I hope you have a fun Halloween, no matter how, even if you stay home and just get dressed up and eat candy by yourself. Enjoy yourself. Bye.